So you may or may not be aware of this. This is the Sony HUIS Home Smart Remote. It features an e-ink screen. It's made by Sony and it's completely made in Japan. It also does not require any registration. You simply just start it up pointed at something and it works as long as you're on the right thing. For example, the air conditioner. It'll work on air conditioners, it'll work on TVs, it'll work on anything. You can even add things to it like photos, manga, PDFs, or even ebooks. Yes, it's an all-in-one, fully customizable unit. You can even add your own logos and recording modes and whatever you want. There's really no limits. And you can have pages and pages of commands, and it's all just e-paper, and it lasts forever. We've had this on for about four months straight of using it in our studio, and we're only at 25%. Now that you're caught up on that, which you can also see the video card up above, if you want to look at the full review they make a cradle for it which we actually didn't know until recently and it comes in its own box it's called the huis 200 cr this one in particular is black but they make a white one and we've never seen this before and we've never unboxed it either i actually don't know how this opens so like that all right so we're going to open it this way i suppose and what's funny is this box is the exact same as the HUIS box, if you were to buy it, the image would be different, it would be the actual remote. So we have a cradle here, and what do we have else in the box? Wow, you get, okay, you get everything here. This is a Bluetooth cradle, by the way, which we will be discovering as we go on. So there's various documentation in there, it tells you how to use it. And you get the USB cable along with a Sony wall port. There's a lot of stuff there for a simple little cradle. Let's crack it open and see what is what. This is not made in Japan, this is made in the Philippines, but that's fine. So you get a USB micro port on the back and you get a single button. And it doesn't look like it's an eject, it looks like some sort of connect or something and you would simply just place the device in like that and you are now on the cradle you could do this kind of monochrome complementary contrast thing or you can try to find the cradle that is the same color we actually sell these on the store as of the date of this video upload because we're a distributor of sony so we'll be able to do that but now we have to actually check how this works and what kind of functionality it has and what purpose it serves we already have a wall port so we don't need to use that one so we have it plugged in via the wall we'll put that in and it should instantly start charging at the bottom there. And it is, you see a percentage mark right there. Let's see what else we can do aside from that because that's pretty rudimentary, the charging cable. You could just plug that cable into the unit without the cradle. Now, anything you put on this will be in your own language, depending on how you write it. If you wanna write it in French, it'll be in French. However, when it comes to the menu, everything is in Japanese, but that doesn't hold you back too much because it's really just a few things you have to remember like battery, screen and Bluetooth for example. So you click on Bluetooth and it actually says cradle link. So you click on that and it says wait a little bit. Then it says put the button at the back. So I'll go ahead and push that and it seems that we are connected. You can use it as a remote control now. So you can see you have some Bluetooth options and you can tell that the HUIS 200 CR is the same as the model number on the packaging and this unit. So now we know it is connected. So now that it's connected, what are some things you can do? What are some fun things? What is the point? If you had this in between the cushions of your couch and you've lost it, and this is sitting on your coffee table, you can actually simply just press this and it'll call the remote. And this remote does have a vibration, haptic feedback button and a vibrator on the inside, which is basically like a wheel that has a quarter cut out of it for inconsistent balance. And when it spins around, it moves. That's how the vibrating apparatus works. And it does have audio on this, so it definitely will kind of shout out to you like that. So that's the one thing you can do. And it looks like the other thing you can do lastly out of the three functions is controlling other Bluetooth devices with this, utilizing this as a bridge. So if you wanted to control something like a PlayStation, which traditionally doesn't work with the remote because the PlayStation 3 or 4 doesn't have IR or infrared, much like an air conditioner, a refrigerator, 
a, a microwave would, or a TV of course, a DVD player, they utilize Bluetooth, you can actually use this as the bridge to communicate to it. So that's also an interesting feature, and this primarily is a charging cradle. What it really is is just for it to stand up, which is weird because this already is designed to stand up, but it acts as a peripheral to call your thing, charge it kind of nicely, keep it all tucked away in the corner, maybe run this down the length of the table so it's kind of hidden out of the way. It's just companies always have peripherals like this and additional things, but it is nice to see that Sony is continuing to innovate and release new things, even for lesser known e-paper products like the HUIS Home Remote. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below if you want to pick one of these up. We sell it on the store and we ship anywhere in the world. For Goody Reader Tech, thanks for watching.